Good afternoon. Just maybe we'll start the uh, the, the, the uh, preview video, the first Facebook Live virtual open house for the King Auction. I'm just going to share this on my page in just a second. But I want to thank you all for watching. <clears throat> obviously, we stay at home. We're going through. We're doing some things a little bit differently than normal. We obviously cannot do a live open house, and so we're doing the. Uh, a virtual instead we've had a lot of people ask questions about specific things we're going to talk about those let's talk about some things that i think are interesting and uh just walk through the entire auction i know a lot of people have quit we had a lot of interest in this auction so far and so let's get started let me flip the camera around and show you some things that are in the auction the barber pole has been repainted many times but uh, if you look in the pictures you can see that you can see old old paint uh, especially in the crevices needle coffee box here 100 pound Jersey coffee box. Really dig the 1855 uh, architectural piece. <clears throat> it's taken right off of a house or a building at some point. And a pretty cool deal. Up over here we have a really nice pie safe with the punch tin, the stars. Which people are always appreciative of the stars, of course. We love them. Love the pigs, nice crockware pieces, red wing uh, banded bowl. This is a cool piece. It's redware with a yellow glaze, a little butter churn. A lot of people liking the little portrait there, the girl, Ben Franklin. Some advertising pieces. Love the Excelsior Springs. Uh, Mark is red, getting texts and calls here. This is an interesting little piece, kind of might be uh, overlooked. Hull House out of Chicago. Um, a really interesting story. Do some research on that. You might be surprised how rare that is and how desirable it might be in certain circles. If you see things as I'm walking through that aren't in the auction, that's because we just didn't have a chance to get everything cataloged during, before the stay at home. Um, hey, Diane, thanks for watching. If anybody has any questions, I think please let me know. Post in the comments. I can see those and read along with those as we're going along. This is a great little gouache by Eleanor Custis, Eleanor Park Custis. A uh, really well-known artist, and uh, a lot of people like her work. Let's go over to this table here. It has a lot of interesting things. I had questions about these. I have no idea where they're from or what they were for, but that looks like the all-seeing eye or a variation of it to me. And all these tassels, you can see two of some of these have been restored, but some are just as natural as they could have been. This is interesting. So there's a thing called the Virginia Leather Key box, or Basket that this looks very similar like to me, but uh, I can't find any reference to an actual like box or something along those lines. Love the honeycomb look there. The glass, nice early piece. A lot of interest in this early punch tin lantern. Uh, you can see it's got a great finish all the way around. All hand forged, all hand decorated. Several questions about the textiles. We'll get to some of those. This is a fun little piece. It looks like a little screen of some sort, but they added, obviously just framed this piece and added it to this little display. Uh, and we left it because it's just kind of a neat little deal. A lot of people love the old country store bell. And I really dig the little Civil War era Folk art carved pipe. There's a snake. There's several dates 1860, 1861, 63. The eagle's on it. All kinds of fun things. So, this is a pretty rare piece. Uh, Revolutionary War era. So, it's at 1760s or so. Um, woven trivet. And you can see in the bottom right, it looks like it says Chuck Caution, Cashew, something along those lines. Um, we're not taking it out of the frame, obviously, because this is old as old, and we don't want things to happen to it while we're doing anything, but they didn't even realize it had that panel there, because they, they had it set up to hang this way, which obviously that doesn't read, so uh, kind of hidden for a couple hundred years. Some nice little frame stitch pieces here. Love the little steel beads in the little pouch. You can see nice little partial silk lining in there. And uh, a little floral decoration around the edges. Yeah, really nice old piece. And then here's a little wallet, or probably actually not a wallet, but a sewing piece. All the needles in there, 
Uh, so that's a pretty unusual rate. Look, just check out that fabric inside. And then of course the flame stitch. There is wear. These things are, you know, these are not new by any stretch. These are, you know, 150 years old plus. The little uh, purse here, the lion's petty point on one side, geometrics on the other, birds on the panel, um, and a calf skin interior. Um, again, just a really wonderful early, early thing. A lot of interest here in this miniature block front secretary, drop front desk. And uh, the quality of construction is just as good as the big boys. Fitted interior, check out that beautiful graining in there. Little drawers, door, do these come out? They do. Of course I got fat fingers, there we go. My little business cards in there, be great for that. I don't think this is terribly old. I'll show you the back in just a second. Let me open up the top if I can. Yeah, look at this. Look at that entire fitted interior. Both the that drop front and the cabinet on top. All these little drawers. When all this stuff was built by hand, folks. I mean, there's no machining. There's no, you don't just order the parts for this. Even as the candle slides. Um, just you can tell it's just a beautiful piece of miniature furniture little finials come out uh, That one was glued that one got broken and glued back in So, uh, you know just a wonderful little thing and close it back up so you can kind of see it again Now that you've seen it, you know opened oh, gotta Close those Hey, honey, thanks for watching Again, if anybody has any questions about pieces in particular, let me know and I'll get to, I'll do what I can. Oh. Oh, it's signed underneath the drawer. Okay, holo. Well, I just saw that. We'll take pictures of that and add to the listing, and we'll do some research on that. In fact, I'll take that drawer home with me. because uh, we're doing <laughs> where our desk where our computer used to be is a big open spot. I brought that home yesterday. We're still, you know, I can I'm still coming in doing this on occasion, but I'm doing what I can to work from home as well. So, uh, you know, we're doing the best we can here at the Casey Auction Appraisal Company. A lot of people have excited about this auction, so we're, we're, we're happy we got it online for you all. Um, but back to this piece here. I think even though it has rose, you know, rose color, rose head nails, which are hand forged iron nails, I think that was just done to kind of keep the look. I think this piece dates to the 1950s or 60s. But even having said that, it's still a wonderful piece of furniture, wonderful piece of cabinet making, and really kind of just a wonderful piece overall. This bench is unusual. I think it was a corner settee that's been remodified. The angles are here. I think it had a bench uh, back on it at one point, but still a neat little piece. Nice little painted cabinet or uh, blanket chest. Nice little group of rugs, that big Bacara style. Has a little bit of damage to it. You can see a little seam there that's come apart. Um, but overall, it's real nice and clean. Pictures show pretty good on those. Of course, it doesn't show the scale. That's folded in thirds. Um, so that's a full room size rug. Neat little, I think it's a trade sign of a ship's wheel. Hang that back on the wall. The Marc Chagall double litho. Nice little painting there. And folks, I'm going to take my time on this today. A lot of people have asked me to go slower in these videos so they can see more detail. And again, as I go by things that I think we've had some specific interest in, I'm going to show those, point those out. Of course, this showcase is nice. If you have a booth, shop, mall. Uh, but uh, some neat pieces in there. The uh, NASA Space Needle, or not needle. Um, let me open this up here. The Liberty Bell Screw. Seven licks loose. That's pretty neat. Love the... Pencil holder from the old Westinghouse Capri TV. A couple of nice good boxes. There's some nice little box lots too. You guys look at, look at all those lots. Look at the pictures. There's some neat things. Love the, the beanies and all of the Cracker Jack type figures and, and charms. The slatted pieces are fun. This is a killer thing right here. It's on the ground. It ain't coming up off the ground because it's marble. Heavy, but really unusual. Really well done. Um... Uh, Stickle and Mord are well known for their marble, their marble company in Iowa, well known, and uh, the work on that's really quite nice. 
Nice watercolor here by Captain Walter William, part of the Royal Institute of Artists uh, in watercolors, 1830s to 1890s. And a nice image there. Like all the, the, the flock of birds flying along the mountains and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching, Sheila. If you have any questions, just let me know. <clears throat> some nice powdery. Some Van Briggle, some matte green pieces here. Really nice glazes. Oh, these are fun pieces. We've got the really great little folk art watercolor. The bird in the tree with a nice little saying. Love this piece with the hearts, the stars, the crosses. Old, probably original paint. There's some fruit on there. A neat little mirror piece. A little paper cutout. Another folk art mirror. The box. Again, check out those hearts. I just want to see something. Is that... No, it doesn't seem to move, so they're actually off kilter like that on purpose. All kinds of fun goodies here. More Van Briggle. This is kind of appropriate right now. Don't spit on the sidewalk. That was enacted does not to stop the spread of germs. So uh, don't spit on the sidewalk. It's very appropriate today, I think. Speaking of the spreading of the germs, we're obviously watching this, the pandemic closely, see what the regulations are as far as what we can and cannot do. We'll be updating that as we have more information from the city, the state, county, whatever we might need to be referencing and be aware of. Uh, if that means we have to keep items here for a couple of weeks after the auction, then we'll do that. Shipping obviously should not be affected much. That's still an option, but um, you know, be patient with us because we're trying to figure this out just like you guys are. We're not doing anything. We're not going to push the envelope. We're not going to do anything untoward, but uh, so we'll just keep posting what we can and know. Great grain painted cabinet here, folks. Check out the wear. Good, honest, old wear around the door handles. Exactly as you want it and expect it and it should be. Good old cabinets inside. And these uh, fabric panels are just tacked into place. One of my most fun Christmas pieces right there. Kind of an old putt style Christmas house but with a little paper mache Santa Claus and the cotton uh, snow line on the roofs. It's pretty fun. And the old Christmas lights, candle lights are really neat. Some fun objects there. Kind of odd to have a pair of Art Deco lamps in the collection. This basket is really intriguing to me, folks. If I wish I could figure out who did it, why they did it. I've seen them before, but I cannot place it. That's an old wallpaper on the bottom. Uh, turned wooden, like acorns. All kinds of interesting things going on there. Um, like I said, I think I've seen them before, should know what that is, but cannot place it to save my life. Another good Native American basket. This area, you can tell we're not exactly set up as normal, um, because we're not, we haven't been here. So, some neat pieces here. This is a little group of boxes, and uh, I didn't see this until I was going through the pictures. It has some, like, pen work engraved imagery around it that's pretty unusual. That, again, 18th century birch bark box. A lot of interest in the carved plaque there with them, mother bird, mother and chick birds. Let's see if I can just, oh, that's got a round peg. It doesn't work on ours. Little pinup piece, all kinds of goodies. Nice little sewing swift. This is uh, a good old piece again. The Kings really have a nice collection of objects, folks. We're really excited all the way through. There's all kinds of fun stuff, including like, these spy glasses and these little magnifying glasses. And this piece here was given as a, presented as a gift in 1848. It's a day night binocular or spy glass uh, by the Betts Company. It's, it's on there somewhere, it's in the listing. Again, if you like scientific pieces, go on, walk, look, look through the whole catalog. These are some really neat pieces through. Love, really dig the, uh, Portrait by Jay Clymer of the man in the top hat with the red background, really striking with that imagery in the color. Trade sign, old Dwight Sheeting. It's actually a sheet company. And the rope that was with it is down there on the ground. Don't know if that's necessary to it or not, but uh, it does go with it. I'm going to weigh the scale, the, the scale of the safe here today before I leave and add that information to the catalog. You can see it's a cute little safe. Um, we don't have the combination. There's nothing inside it. They probably bought it that way 40 or 50 years ago and sent it in the basement and forgot about it. <laughs> Not that I know anything about that. These are really cool. See so if I can get them backlit. 
see that they're painted windows, old leaded metal windows out of like an old built, uh, industrial building that somebody painted these nice scenes on. Chiropractors run in the family, so it makes sense it have a, a skeleton or a model of a spine. One of the eagles, and of course the big eagle we'll get to here towards the end of the video, but it's a nice carved eagle, really nice detail. Another nice piece of folk art. It's a fun little display cabinet here. This is unusual in that it's a, a sewing table, but it's not, it's more of a sewing platform. And I can't hardly do this with one hand. Yeah, see? And then those, those rods come in and uh, lock it in place. So it's almost like a lap desk for sewers. You can see that there. And this is a fun piece, a really good pipe rack. Again, an early piece. Somebody added these blocks on the back to mount it on the wall, but uh, nice, nice piece. One of, the most one of the most looked at pieces in the auction is this whatchamacallit. We have no idea what it is, but it has some really cool pieces going on and cool look to it. So if you know what it is, we'd love for you to share that information with us. Good rosewood piece. Nice little watercolor by John Hare. A pretty well-known artist. This is one of the more unusual pieces in the auction. It's called a plate cradle or cat cradle. Uh, you would set plates in here like this. English circa 1780 to 1810. Dig the Mission Oak file cabinet. Obviously the drawers work really well. This is a nice little piece right here, this carved, folk art carved limestone with the Native American portrait or bust. And it's interesting, the first time I saw it, I saw the feathers right away and never looked past that. It wasn't until we got here at the office, I was like, oh, there's actually a face carved into that as well. And uh, pretty neat moment when I figured that out. Another interesting watercolor here by uh, Louis Reckelbur, Reckelbus, pretty well-known Belgian artist, I believe. Folks, this piece, uh, take a look at this, lot 229. These sails are silk. The boat is silk. The figures are silk. Uh, Thomas Willis, this is 1908, did this. He painted a canvas and then added the ships in silk. He worked for the silk for different silk companies and then went out on his own and did this. Antiques Roadshow has done a spot on one of his pieces that came into an event. Lot 229, folks, take a close look at that. That's a really nice thing uh, and, and worth a fair amount of money in the right markets. So make sure you take a close look. You don't want to let that one slide by. Really dig a little primitive table, but these lamps are really cool, too. They had these in the bathroom, and it is a right and a left, which is nice. But, um, again, they had those hanging in the bathroom. This one got a little bit of damage, and of course that's shown in the pictures. Another architectural element, a little transom or uh, lintel. There's no grandfather clock. Oh, another star of the show, the uh, medical, the dentist, doctor's cabinet. So this is what your patient would see, which is a showcase with all these little shelves. You'd have medicines or glasses or whatever you were wanting to try and sell to your client. They'd also see the mirrored side. See the big drawers down there behind this great old spoon rack. So there's some things up there, but on the back side of the cabinet, again, another mirror, another mirror on that side, there's a clear glass here and a frosted glass on this side. So that, uh, I don't know if this has been seen by the public or not, probably depending on the, on the doctor, mirrored back. Hello. It's got the label there, drop doors. get to the merchandise that you're trying to sell. And again, supplies would have been inside these drawers, merchandise, a writing surface to write down the prescription for the for your patient. Uh, just a really neat, rare, hard to find cabinet. We found a few of them online, uh, but very, very few. And this is going back years and years and years. Really a neat, neat piece. The dinner bell is cool. Check out the lichen on the back. Uh, the backside and hadn't seen the sun in who knows how long. Art Nouveau piece of glass, kind of a really good looking looks type. Mercury, the pottery birds are pretty cool. 
dig the William Stone attorney at law. Cool, weather vane, pretty worn, but it's a great, great graphic piece, great sculptural piece. I believe this is an 18th century uh, cabinet. Probably not American, probably, I keep looking at it thinking it's Italian, I'm not sure why that jumps out at me, but that's what I think as I look at it. It's been, you know, it has quite a bit of damage and repair from over the years, but still a neat piece. One of the two, one of the two ships in the auction. Uh, the other one I kind of went past, it's kind of buried right now. Like I said, we're not exactly set up as normal. Beautiful portrait, dated 1830-something. Uh, German background, partial label on the back saying who this is or who she was a mother of. Love the uh, starburst candle stances. Neat old uh, English book box. Really love the, the wicker chair. Check out the scale on that thing. It's very just big and swoopy and, and just good looking. A lot of people like this Elwell kitchen cabinet just because I think it's so raw. has these original metal drawers. has a lot of nice little things here like including sort of pull out work, work surface. Uh, big deep like bottle drawers. Um, probably cool. Probably one of the highlights of the auction is the Trippin Seed Planetarium. I think 1908 is the date on this one. A couple little dents on the sun. Not unusual at all. And again, just a really good looking piece. Dig the little folk art primitive girl with the cat painting California provenance on there with the label on the back. Hope everybody had a great Easter yesterday. A lot of interest in the no hats priced over $5 sign. A uh, nice little bronze store display. Neat piece of pottery, a little tr almost a trade sign. Straight edge, straight razor. And I am pretty sure that this pitching post is an old one, folks. It has the heft, it has the right weight, um, it has the right scale of the ring. I mean, you don't, you don't misshape a ring like that overnight. Um, let me lay this on its side if I can do that one. Actually, I should be able to set this down for just a second. I've got it in a stand. There we go. Oh! Yeah, so check out that bottom on there. It, uh, like I said, it really looks like a good old one to me. Um, it just has all the characteristics that I'd look for in a piece of old iron. Could be wrong but it just seems to have the right look and feel and weight. Several good footstools. Check out the feet on this bottom one. Very, very interesting. Super flat. Um, check the nice carved edge detail on that is interesting. And the top on there and the nice French. Some more folk art panels. But speaking of folk art, there's nothing more folksy than an outhouse door. And uh, we have one of those for sale in this auction. I think it's pretty fun. Another nice, uh, that's a copy of an old advertising print for uh, is it a bubble company or soap, or shampoo bubble company or something along those lines. All right, the Big Eagle. Folks, this thing is just about six feet across. Carved, painted. The paint looks older. It does look like there's some just so in places. It's very unusual and I can't quite get my hands around it. I can't find an example similar to it, or I can't find an identical example to it, and of course being handmade you wouldn't, but um, next time I'm going to have this out where it's a little bit easier to look at, but you can see all the carving, all the cutting along the top to give you the form, and then it's got the silhouette. Um, I'm going to say it's probably been touched up with paint over the years. And again, I think this is probably a 1940s or 50s piece. And I'm not sure why. I don't think it's 1900. Uh, but I don't think it's 1980 either. I think it's a mid 20th century piece there. It's really not mid 20th century design. But uh, next time I do all these videos, I'll, I'll have that out in an area where I can just flip it over and, and really look at it closely with y'all. Nice uh, strap bench and super fun little miniature chest of drawers. This was full of silver that will coming up in an auction shortly or as shortly as we can. 
Nice little cash register. Right. Ah, the drawer does open. So yeah, you see that it seems to work. And then the little hand painted wardrobe is super cute too. And then this little like Adirondack Hitchcock style footstool is pretty wonderful too. So that's our first walkthrough. We're going to uh, do a couple more of these over the next week or so. Maybe do a little bit longer, or a little shorter on specific objects. So there's a lot of neat pieces here, folks. And again, we're going to be watching the COVID situation really closely. We're not going to put anybody in danger. We're not going to put anybody at harm. Um, you know, we love antiques. We love selling these things. Our clients expect us to sell these. Uh, but at the end of the day, we have to do things right by everybody. So we're going to be monitoring that situation closely and doing what we can, when we can, the best way that we can. Did I miss the pay? What pay? Please explain, please explain, Diane. I'm not sure what that means. Um, nice little oil by Anton Mauve. Did I miss the painting of the child in Hollyoaks? Oh, that was right at the beginning. And let me go back to that. The child overlooking the fence. Is that the one you think you're talking about? The one that's been in the email. It's such a super cute little painting. You can see right here, not signed. Uh, let me see if I can't. Let me set this down right here. Let me grab this off the wall. And do it this way. So yeah, super cute painting. You see it's got a little bit of, you know, some, some paint flaking there. It's got a little bit of swirling and dirt to it. A little puncture there. Don't know where the frames, they had a lot of paintings that are not in frames now. And so I'm not sure what happened. We dug through all the frames that they had in the attic and the basement. Yeah, I'm going to show that in a second, but I'm showing the, the dirt ring around the side. So they can see that it was framed for a long time. And let me see, you can show the back. And you know, duct tape fixes everything. And so they use duct tape. See, there was a little puncture there. And then this one must be the back of that little piece right there. Good old, you know, construction, good old stretcher, old canvas. See, so it got wet at some point, but it doesn't, that hasn't translated to any damage along the front, which is nice. This would clean up super well. Um, see the old, just old nails. And only one set has ever been in there. So this is the original stretcher for that, right? So these had to have been redone and, and redone. redone. Uh, it's never been clean, never been off the stretchers. Um, everything is as original as it can be. It has all four keys in the corner. Those are uh, keys, what they're called. And all four of them are here, the original ones it looks like. Um, has who knows how much worth of dust there along the bottom edge. But yeah, a good, good old piece. Good old painting. Lots just a neat piece of folk art. I'm going to set this here and grab it the other way. So you can see it again, just you know, fun little cloud work in the sky. Even you can see the blue coming through the blue skies and the white clouds should clear up really nicely and neat. You know, there's some blue right there in front. You can hardly see. Um, there's only some cloud work there as well. A tree in the back, right? Just a really fun thing. Hey, David, thanks for watching. Any questions? Just let us know. We're wrapping up the first virtual open house. Um, and as people ask questions, either via email or things like that through Facebook Messenger, which we've had a lot of, we will address those questions in our next one. I am thinking Thursday morning will be our next open house, a virtual open house. And I'll go back through this oh, video and see what I didn't talk about and bring those to the attention the next time. Probably start with that little wonderful Hudson Valley, Hudson River painting on top there. Just... It's small, but a lot of work in that little piece. So thank you all so much for watching. If you have any other questions, just let us know. And we'll continue to work on this auction, promote it. We have a couple of big things in the works. We might have several more auctions going online in just the next several days. Um, pretty excited about some things we've been working on. 
If you saw the picture I showed the other day of all the download stuff, uh, that's part of that process. So uh, the next several days. Uh, Daniel, this auction for these objects, it's online right now. If you look at our Facebook page here, you'll see it. If you go to kcauctioncompany.com, you'll see uh, links to the King Collection auction there. I'm also going to post a link in the in this in our messages here. Uh, I'm going to post a link to the auction in this as well. But kcauctioncompany.com, the King Collection auction is the only thing we have online right now, and uh, full of wonderful Americana, primitive folk art, paintings, oils, uh, some really really neat things. Thanks for watching, Sheila. Thank you so much. The, I'll let the children, the kids know that you think it's a beautiful collection, and mom and dad know as well. Um, and uh, we think so as well. We're going to uh, go ahead and turn this back around as I'm walking. But thanks for everybody for watching. If you have any questions, let us know, and we will get to them as soon as we can. Stay home, stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy, and we will do the same here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.